wake up? <laughs> Do you cry when you yawn? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing six new moisturizers that I have been absolutely loving for winter time. I don't know where y'all live, but as you know, I live in Minnesota and it is cold and dry as heck here. So I need all the extra moisture that I can get. And I've definitely been feeling really inspired to test out new skincare products lately, especially moisturizers given the change in season. So I've been playing around with a lot of new products behind the scenes over the past several months. And for today's video, I narrowed down the top six moisturizers that stood out to me the most, that I've been using the most, that I love the most. And if you are wondering why I'm not including any barrier creams in today's video, I mean, you wouldn't be wondering that right now, but if we get to the end of the video and you're like, why weren't there any barrier creams in that video or really, really thick, occlusive creams, that's because I recently posted a video sharing my top 10 favorite barrier creams. So for the sake of not being super repetitive, I'm just going to leave the barrier creams in that video and I will list that below so you can check that out if you're interested in a moisturizer that is really, really occlusive or balmy or creamy to really lock in that moisturizer. So just know that I do still use and love those barrier creams, but these are six new options that are not technically barrier creams, but are still amazing moisturizers. Let's jump into it. All right, we're going to be talking about these moisturizers in order of how lightweight or thick the texture is. So I'm going to start off with the lightest weight option first, and then we will work our way to the thickest, creamiest option. So first up is the Rovectin Skin Essentials Barrier Repair Aqua Concentrate. This moisturizer has so many incredible ingredients. Honestly, all of these do. So you're gonna see very long ingredient list highlights on the screen. Some of the amazing ingredients in this moisturizer include niacinamide, ceramide NP, hyaluronic acid, sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, all of M1000, allantoin, bisabolol, and astaxanthin. And this is fragrance and essential oil free, just like the rest of all of the moisturizers in this video are. So again, this is the lightest weight option in this video and something that I would consider to be a lightweight lotion that has a little bit of a gel texture. It's definitely one of those lotions that starts to liquefy a little bit as you apply it. So it's really nice and hydrating but it doesn't go completely watery to the point where it feels more like a serum than a moisturizer. This is definitely still moisturizing enough for me to wear it in the morning. It keeps my skin feeling moisturized all day long, so I love using it for that purpose. And another reason why I've been loving this for the winter is that it layers really well underneath a little bit of a thicker sunscreen. I have a few sunscreens that are a bit creamier and more moisturizing that I really love reaching for in the winter, but if I'm wearing those, I don't want to apply them on top of a really thick moisturizing cream because because that can cause pilling and it can feel really heavy. So wearing a bit of a thicker sunscreen on top of a lotion like this makes for a really, really nice combination and skin that just feels moisturized and hydrated all day long. Next, we have the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This has hyaluronic acid, Centella Asiatica, shea butter, argan oil, jojoba seed oil, ceramide NP, peptides, and lecithin. And this is also a lotion that has somewhat of a gel-like consistency, but it's definitely a little bit thicker than the Rovectin option, and it has this really unique quality to it that is difficult to explain. The first word that came to mind is film. Like it creates this super, super lightweight film on the skin that feels really, really soft but I hesitate to use the word film because I feel like that makes it sound like it doesn't absorb into the skin and it definitely does. It's just that it, I don't know, does something magical on the skin that I really love. I always enjoy reaching for this moisturizer. I enjoy reaching for all of these, but there's something special about this. And those of you that have used this know exactly what I'm talking about. I actually purchased this because so many of you recommended it in the comments on one of my videos where I was asking for Asian skincare product recommendations. That was the longest sentence I've ever said. So anyway, I know a lot of you use this and love this and know exactly what I'm talking about, even though it's kind of difficult to explain. Next is a new product from Geeking Gorgeous. They actually came out with two different moisturizers. One is a lighter weight option, and this one is the thicker option of the two. It is called Happier Barrier. I love their products, they're so cute. This contains squalane, jojoba oil, green tea extract, bisabolol, olantoin, ceramide NG, and phytosterol macadamiate. And I feel like this one is right on the border between being a thick lotion 
lotion and a lightweight cream. It's like right in between those two things. I could describe it either way, but it makes it perfect for both the morning and night for me. It really is so nice. It feels super conditioning on the skin. The only complaint I have about it is that it's so little. I hope they come out with bigger options. The only downside to Geek and Gorgeous is that if you're purchasing in the US or I think anywhere besides, well, I don't know exactly how their shipping process works, but I do know that if you're located in the US, you have to hit a certain dollar amount in your shopping cart in order to get free shipping. So because their products are so affordable, you do kind of have to stock up if you want free shipping. But you guys know that there are several products from this brand that I love and have recommended before. So I will list some of those in the description box below if this is the moisturizer that looks the most enticing to you in this video, but I do hope they come out with a bigger option. Next is the Naturia Multi-Peptide Moisturizer, which is definitely not a new product. This is just one that I have continued to hear really good things about. I feel like this brand has a lot of products actually that I continue to hear good things about. So I finally tested it out and I really, really love it. I have been reaching for this all the time. This has jojoba seed oil, squalane, niacinamide, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and panthenol in it. This is a lightweight cream that, again, works perfectly for me in both the morning and night, but for the winter time, I really do love using this as an AM skincare moisturizer. And similar to Claire's, there's something about this that, I don't know, just layers so nicely on the skin and just makes it work really, really well with sunscreens and any makeup that I put on top of it. So that is another reason why I've been reaching for it so often in the morning. It's just a great moisturizer. I understand why so many of you love this. I feel like my hair is just going crazy. Whatever. Second to last is the Purito Dermide Sicko Barrier Sleeping Pack. This was also a moisturizer that a lot of you guys recommended in the comments on one of my videos, so I was excited to pick it up. It contains Centella Asiatica, Squalane, Jojoba Seed Oil, Sunflower Seed Oil, Panthenol, Ceramide MP, Hyaluronic Acid, and Lethicin. Lecithin. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get that. This is really nice and moisturizing, and and is definitely a little bit thicker than the Naturium option, so it's not really one that I reach for in the morning. My skin does lean oily, so I prefer something a bit lighter weight in the morning, but at night, it's perfect. Oh, it's just one of those that you put on and you know that your skin is going to look so, so nice and glowy in the morning after using it. So great. And last but not least, we have the Kopari Moisture Whipped Ceramide Cream. This is the only moisturizer in this video that I have mentioned on my channel before. So I talked about it in a video where I was reviewing new products and then I included it in my nighttime skincare routine because this is an amazing nighttime moisturizer. So even though it's not technically brand, brand new, I feel like it still makes sense to include it in this video because when I think about the new moisturizers I've been testing over the last few months, this is one of my favorites for sure. This contains squalane, shea butter, lecithin, jojoba oil, ceramides, phospholipids, danzania oil, watermelon seed oil, cholesterol, and hyaluronic acid. I feel like a lot of these moisturizers have a lot of the same ingredients in common, which I guess kind of makes it easier because then it's really up to the type of texture that you like best. Similar to the Claire's moisturizer, this is also something that is really unique to my moisturizer collection. I don't have any other moisturizer that feels like this. I've never tried another moisturizer that feels just like this. It's really, really nice. It's whipped like the name suggests. It's one of those moisturizers that just feels like clouds on your skin. And it's insanely soft and conditioning and is just a product that I love applying at night. I feel like I'm really treating myself whenever I put this on. So I think this may be the spendiest option in this video. Totally get it if this is not a price you want to spend on a moisturizer, but if you like to splurge on a moisturizer, you want to treat yourself, this is one that is definitely worth the splurge. All right, those are all of the moisturizers that I wanted to talk about today. So we are going to wrap this video up here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in picking any of these up. If so, as always, they're all going to be listed and linked in order of mention in my description box below. If there are any other moisturizers or skincare products that you think I need to test out, let me know that in the comments as well. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Don't don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and send my channel to a friend that you think would enjoy my content. Thank you again for watching. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days. Any last words, Elsie? Okay. <laughs>